Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Bells run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with a Pyro on Diamond we are. So I'm gonna do a meme build here if we somehow survive Diamond with a meme build and so be it. We're gonna just buy whatever is on sale right now. Might as well buy Garlic. Early wins is the name of the game, honestly. Uh, second Hero Sword, a uh, Wooden Sword. This could give us a win. I'm gonna get the Flame though and uh, should have gone for Piggy Man. Let's roll here. On another one of these. I'm thinking about creating a torch, honestly, like it is, and then later sell the torch. So early game, we're gonna play with torch and whatever we find, and then somehow we're gonna transition over to the build after the fact. Let's buy this. I don't even want the whetstone. Let's go. This is a torch, guaranteed. So, nice. Uh, they have a wooden buckler and a double weapon, so they should destroy us, but we have 40 max life against their 25, and also we have spikes and a banana, so we should win from the fact that we have more, not from the fact of dps yeah easy win very nice those early wins are very 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 important okay got the torch which is gonna now also upgrade let's put more flames in let's also put some region in here i would like all the food to be connected uh, i would like all the food to be connected to the banana to be honest because the banana healing is more important than the mana gained from the blueberries uh yeah pretty much if anything i would say this all of them are now connected even better and uh, healing herb region is an early win. So I would say, yes, I'm going to pay for it to get early wins. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Early game, we don't care about anything here. We only care about these blueberries a little bit. Uh, this is a archer. So maybe one spike and two region and a bit of healing is going to save us. They also have healing and region. We literally have the same buffs. Um, I mean, if the torch scales enough, we're going to win. This has a 25% chance to gain one damage. Nice. It gained the damage. We won. And now it's going to become a super torch, which is even better. Nice. Now this says uh, start of battle gain to heat and then on hit 3% chance to gain 1 damage. Or if I have 15 heat, gain 2 damage. I'm going to buy the lump of coal. Early game items are good. And if anything, put it on here and buy another flame. And let's roll them. Uh, I would like to buy a leather bag. And I would also like to buy a wooden buckler to just get the spiky shield. Let's do that. That's going to give us a couple of wins here for free. I should have locked the flame, by the way. Uh, they have a double weapon. We should lose because they have double weapons. But we have more region than them. So if the fight takes long enough, we might win through the region. But that's it. Because I have two region and a banana. They only have two region. Also have spikes. So DPS-wise, we're also getting help from spikes. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. Three wins in a row. On hard mode, we got the burning cold. Tropes and chance to deal six damage and gain one heat. Let's put this here so we get the spike shield. Uh, let's also buy flames and I would say roll for inventory space. Found some. Very nice for the next turn that is. Right now I can't really do anything. I could sell both of the flames but that doesn't really help me in any way, shape or form. Because this is just gonna add on the deck and that's it. So just stick to what we have. We're gonna go on next turn. This guy should destroy us. They have a double banana and a goobert, so they definitely outheal us. You're gonna see the heal go up in a moment. But we have scaling, so I just gained one heat, for example, out of that. And uh, yeah, I just got another heat out of that because I'm rolling with a good ol' burning coal. That was a high roll there twice, and now I'm gaining mana too. And we won. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the double banana and goobert did not really save them. Very nice, very nice. Everything's going very well right now. This is a bit insane to me. And I found the item of choice. So now I'm going to explain the build. The build is going to be three to four draconic orbs. I would say three is already enough. And the impractically large greatsword. And the idea is I want to do your this thing at 15 heat reached. Your next four hits are going to be critical. That the draconic orb says. That's the main idea. I want to be critting three, not three, uh, four, eight, 12 times in the row. And just kill the opponent with four hits is the idea. Uh, I would also like to go into the gemstone package. So I want to find blue gemstones after I find the gemstone. Um, I don't know what it's called. The gemstone chest or whatever. And then last but not least, we definitely want to also find actually no that's it blue gemstones and draconic orbs oh no 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 and yellow potions yellow potions bring them back to shopping list yellow potions is also pretty important we're gonna go here we're gonna buy the draconic orb now we start having uh, every 2.5 second remove one a spike from the opponent and give us one heat that's also pretty important all of these are flame items by the way so all of them give us five max life very nice throw the flame in so we start with more i don't care about the dagger honestly Yes, and definitely yes on the region. Why not? It's also cheap. Very nice. We found room here. And I now just want to find the impractically large greatsword, and the build is pretty much ready. So the moment I hit 15 heat, we do five crits in a row, four crits in a row. And the only way we gain heat is through the burning coal rolling five times, which is not really gonna happen, or them gaining spikes, which is not also not gonna happen. 
Uh, we might roll it though. We might roll it. I'm at 12 right now. At 15 is when the magic happens. Ah, it's a race. It's a race. We have three spikes. Nice. We won. We won. We're all winning right now. This is a. This is almost not a build, and we're somehow winning. You go here. You also join for sure. Uh, what is this for the spear? What is the spear though? Let's make sure that the spear is not something I care about. And the spear is this thing. Before missing, use one heat to hit instead and deal plus three damage. And on hit, destroy four uh, shield for each fire item in front of this. Ah, eh, not really something I really care about. Let's roll them. And I found a good old chili pepper, which uh, is uh, for one heat, heal five. Again, one heat and heal five and at ten heat, remove debuffs. This is obviously insanely good. I would even trade a flame for it right now, as that's going to make a difference. Uh, and I would like this to have the most attack speed. Definitely, this is the least one. And I would say another lump of coal for sure. And uh, I don't even care about the attack speed right now. Now, let's go. Still hoping for the impact of that is greatsword. Uh, I should buy the thing that says you find rarer items, as that's how you find the greatsword fast. Doesn't matter though. Now, I will gain 15 heat in a moment, because now I do have guaranteed heat gain. And boom, now crits are coming in. After this, boom, 14, not a lot. 14, once again, not a lot. 16, also not a lot. And another 16. We're gonna lose this. Uh, we're gonna definitely lose this, because this thing is scaling damage and it's doing 25 to 31 right now. Oh, we won! No! Yeah, I thought we lost. I thought we lost, still winning, only wins right now. Uh, another mana gain, I would say that's important, because we're gonna go into the flame build. So, definitely go for the mana gain. And I would say put it here for the banana speed. Yeah, why not, for the banana speed. And, uh, let's go like this. Actually, yeah, this is better. Because the banana still gains the same amount of buffs, but now this gets more buffs. Uh, this is gonna fire up. And uh, let's roll him, I would say. I don't care about armor that way, that much. Definitely go for inventory space and roll him. And I also found the box of riches for the blue gems, which we need to find. And I'm still hoping for the impractical large greatsword, by the way. The idea is I hit them five times and they're dead. I hit them two times and they're dead. That's the actual idea. If not one time and they're gone. Uh, we're losing. Not We're not really losing. We have the crits. The crits are gone, actually. I need to find more of these uh, draconic orbs, though. I need to find two more guaranteed. By the way, we're scaling, but they're also scaling uh, because they have a steel guvert, literally the scaling item. Oh, it's a race. Oh, we won from fatigue. Let's go. Still only wins. Still only wins. And the item of choice, I would say, is between Dark Lantern, half health, and then immunity, and then another half health. So just have it in the side and don't care about it. And that's it. Or go with the friendly fire that gives us even more fire. I think we're gonna go with the friendly fire. If I hit 40 heat, it's gonna give us regen. And that 20 heat giving us 5 luck is also important so we don't miss with a greatsword. So this gets added. Oh, the Torquilla is here. Doesn't matter though. Let's roll him. And I found the greatsword. And I also found Flawed Topaz, which is relevant to us. Starting energy is relevant though. Um, yeah, I literally found the item of choice. So I'm super happy about this. This here does 40 to 50 damage. So imagine if this thing says the next your next four hits are crits, and then you just crit for 100 damage, right? So it's gonna be a smack and death. Uh, let's also mini reorganize for this thing, so that this gets min maxed. Yep, and we're done with that. And I think we're ready. So this thing here says every 3.5 seconds use one mana. I have two mana generators, so we should have enough mana to gain two heat. We go 10% faster for each fire, so it's going to be faster than the, these things. But these have 3.5 and 3.5, and this has 3.5 and is 1. These are 2. So even though this is going to be faster, these two are going to still be faster than it. And then uh, when I hit, uh, when I reach 20 heat, which should be almost right away, I gain 5 luck, so I'm not going to be missing. 25% more hit chances, 5 luck. And then at 40 heat, 15 regen, and at 80 heat, deal 100 damage. And I think this deal 100 damage is flat out real damage, like true damage or something. just says that number 100. Uh, this is a fatigue build. With a Cursed Dagger for some reason. You could have gone into Fatigue with Mr. Shruggles. I don't know why I went, you went with a Dagger. I have my 20 Heat here. We just got my 5 Luck. So now I'm not going to be missing anymore. Yeah, this is 100% Hit Chance. They're poisoning us like crazy. But um, yeah, I just hit 40 Regen. 40 Heat right now. Boom. So we got my Insane Regen. I'm at 19 Regen at the end. And we won still. Only wins. Only wins. And I got another Draconic Orb. Very nice. So I'm going to go here. And the time has come to transition away from the, the current build. So uh, you go away. For sure. And you join. So for this thing to join, we're gonna have to throw some things out. Most likely, garlic's gonna go first. I need uh, how much room? This is the seven, seven room. Yeah, this is seven room. Three, six, three plus three plus four. Uh, so I guess you guys also go. And at this point, this is the item here. Yep, that's where it's gonna be most likely. And we still need the mana. And I obviously also need the these guys for still. I need the chili peppers. Look how many things we're about to throw out. 
so you definitely go because we don't want that guy to steal kill us uh, to steal crits away you join you definitely join so now we have more room and also more energy uh, you join uh, definitely put whatever gemstone we have doesn't matter what on this so we have more inventory space that's my only reasoning here no other reasoning further than that needed uh, i would say this build can go over here so that these are all interconnected very nice super nice uh, and now we're gonna just go back on that very same thing i just did because we need <laughs> more um flames therefore more life, max life i don't think i need regen we're gonna just wing it here and smack the opponent to death in two hits is the idea so the idea is we get 15 heat this thing hits create 100 damage opponents dead right away that's the idea we have four guaranteed crits if we don't kill them within four crits we lose the game anyway and i need to also get 15 heat by the way before i get to 15 heat that's not a thing come on 15 heat come on one more heat i need uh, one more nice got it let's go boom 80 damage let's go another one Mm, boom 96 okay they're healing too much we're gonna lose this boom another 96 oh, we're out of energy actually 102 and we lose now <laughs> fair enough i'm out of energy still we lost this one and i was going so well with the uh, with the build i previously had big mistake we're gonna buy another draconic orb i would say and uh, another draconic orb or another chili pepper uh, first of all let's put in our attack speed on this actually energy region is better uh, energy region is not a thing Mm, buy the chili pepper i would say but i think i should throw away the spike shield and uh, buy the chili pepper for sure nice and let's also buy the draconic orb let's throw this also in and roll them i found inventory space very nice now it's fun dragon which i bet is a bit irrelevant though roll them and i found the blue gem which is the most important gem for this build as i do need the piercing of life and also i need to find yellow potions man if i don't find my energy potions this is not a build i have a lot of time though because of how we build this does this guy have healing i do up th oh, i just activated their ability oh they're gonna just burst through us and kill us we lost okay this is not going well <laughs> it's okay though i wanted to do a specific meme thing so this is going decent for in my book I definitely get the lifesteal over the attack speed. The attack speed not really that needed. Uh, going for the 12% chance to deal more damage is definitely the play there. Lifesteal is also a play, I would say. Let's have this in the side. Another lifesteal, definitely level that up. Room and lifesteal. And I would say just throw all of them in. Let's go with double lifesteal on this. Regen, healing, and also I would see even more lump of coals. And let's continue. I still need the yellow energy potions. Although we now have a bit of energy region out of that. So this is a poison build. This one we should beat. They, this, these guys do not have healing. Boom, 48. Crit resisted. Okay, 15% chance to resist crit, by the way. 80 crit. I'm poison. I'm dying from poison. Go, 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 go. Fire. Fire. 84. We're, we're dying before we fire the next one. Ah, we died before we fight the next one. Come on, man. I want my meme build to work out. Okay, got my chance to remove debuffs. Honestly, I would like to have remove the buffs. Is better than chance to remove debuffs. Chance to poison is a bit relevant. Let's go with more life steal. Let's also get another charcoal. Uh, roll him for nice inventory space. I could go for a second in practical arts great sword, by the way. But I don't have energy. I need the potion. Uh, this is, as you see at the very bottom, increased base stamina region by 12%. So we're gonna go with that 12% increase. And we found another yellow um this is the mana gem which is the most important gem as i mentioned previously so i would say we throw away the poison gem and we add another mana gem on this over the heat okay and now once again we hope to double triple crit the opponent and kill him or at least survive through lifesteal they can block our hits let's hope for the best here i have my crit lined up ready boom 82 let's go i'm also dying at the same time boom 92 one more hit and we win or we lose right now uh, 80 no we lost no no so close yet so far in the end it didn't even matter uh lifesteal or another guaranteed crit uh do i need another guaranteed crit i think at eight crits we're already good right we have like eight crits right now i think eight crits are super enough super enough another lifesteal over the piercing of life i would say no um actually maybe yes in general i need this gem more than that one but i think right this very moment we need life a little bit more and i found the best version of that and if we survive this if we survive this i can get the 65 percent chance to pierce anything did i throw some things out for us to get that i'm thinking 
one gem is gonna be the 30, 65%. This can level up for 100%, by the way. And if you get this 100%, then you hit them twice and they're gone. The flame, by the way, idea is that we attack fast. But the thing is, we have energy issues. I need more of these uh, stamina packs. But I'm not gonna get any. Uh, what can I do, though? What can I do? I'm thinking we sell three flames and buy inventory space. Yeah, and then what, though? Doesn't even make sense. I guess we're gonna go with what we have right now and hope for the best. I hope we're not gonna die because this is going so well and now it's going so sideways. This is a dragon build without dragons. We should have this. I mean, come on, man. Boom, 88. They, of course, have a burning coal. They don't have that much healing. 90. One more crit and we win. One more crit, go. 96. Oh, come on. Boom, 80 damage. Nice, and we won. Ooh, we're still alive. <laughs> this is becoming so dangerous, man. Let's go leather bag. Do I want to get a Wolpen Tiger? This is a stamina fixer. If I get a Wolpen Tiger right now, my stamina is fixed. Let's go Wolpen Tiger. Let's go Wolpen Tiger. Yeah, that's it. No more stamina issues whatsoever. Uh, I could also have gone for gain 80 max life here whenever I regen. And then also to empower. And this here needs 5 empower to become super busted. Uh, what is this? I don't care about that. I care about chance to pierce life. And uh, what is this? Chance to move, attack speed. Now we're gonna go here and you go here. So Wolpen we'll Tiger is gonna give us enough regen to maintain everything, literally. As this thing gives us 0.7 uh, stamina regen for each buff you have. And I'm gonna have a couple of buffs here, enough at least to um, get what we want. So theoretically we should have enough energy now. Therefore, let's put the attack speed on this. And let's hope that this is gonna burst the opponents down faster than I would have calculated. This is a blind build. Uh, we are, these blind us a lot. Uh, go smack him. Boom, 100 damage. Pierce the shield, please. 90, 86, but on the shield. Doesn't really count. Boom, 84. Come on, 120. Boom, 80 damage. And one more, and we win. Very nice, and we won. And I had 4 Empower, by the way. We're gonna obviously continue. The Empower, if I hit 5 Empower, this is gonna become super crazy. Wow, I found a Villain Sword. Unbelievable. Melee weapons deal minus 2 damage, but this deals 4 damage for each melee weapon. And it's on sale, too. I'm not gonna buy this. Uh, let's definitely buy the Flawless Sapphire. Yeah, I definitely want to have piercing. Uh, the attack speed is also nice, but we're gonna go with guaranteed piercing here. Let's also buy this and maybe inventory space. Nice, found the best inventory space I could have asked for. Uh, for five coins, I could sell one... Any combo going on? Not really. Uh, I could sell one, two, three, four, five. Just throw the region out. Four region, that is. But if I throw the four region out, then the Wolpen Tiger is gonna be a bit slower. I could just throw out flames. I'm gonna get so many flames anyway. Uh, this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one of the regions. Is what I'm gonna say. I think we have enough energy region anyway. Uh, we also got a banana over here. Yeah, we, we have enough. And uh, this is uh, after five seconds steal for life. It's a joke. Let's go. No, I'm an endless. I don't care. Okay, they have a lot of healing and brass knuckles. Smack them. Always piercing the shielding, by the way. Resisted the crit because they have a uh, cap of resilience. 84 crit there. They're healing too much. We're gonna lose this. Unless I get my 5 empower or the 80 heat helping us somehow. I think I need uh, 8 crits, by the way. Oh, this guy's attacking crazy fast. We're dying this one. We're dying on this one. Yeah, they destroyed us. It's okay, though. We might lose this, by the way. We might lose this. <laughs> it's uh, part, of the, part of the deal. Uh, might as well power that up. Do I want a Phoenix? Not really, because it's gonna be taking crits away. Attack speed. Do I want attack speed on my main weapon? I would say yes. You go here. You go here. Now this got 10% attack speed. Let's go. And upon our lump of coal, might as well. It's gonna give us heat even faster. That's what it does in the first place. I don't care about another Wolpen Tiger. Although this Wolpen Tiger would give us enough buffs... For us to gain the while you have at least five empower decreased stamina usage to three and cooldown to three, and I can even buy it by the way, and it can even fit because I can just throw a couple of flames out and then it fits like this goes out, and it fits right here, and then I get so many buffs so fast because I have attack speed build. Yeah, I think that's the play. Let's throw away one flame and one more regen because these are now gonna give us regen so much faster. This is attack speed. I'm gonna put attack speed over even more of the chance to pierce actually even more attack speed over the lifesteal because I'm uh, hoping for the crit kill and this is a useless one right now let's hope for the best here okay I'm back 
so now we did it. Everything's perfect. Let's hope for the best. Theoretically, the Wolpen Tigress are gonna give us enough empower. Oh, this is a luck crit build, and also it has double moon shield and also double glowing crown. That's very bad for us. Triple glowing crown. 62 crit. If they gain mana, they're gonna now start blocking everything. Oh, that's very bad for us. Zero crit, by the way. We're dying. 78 crit. 104 and one more, and we won. Whoo, before the immunity hit. Whoo, the 7 empower, man. This worked out. This has a 1.3 cooldown here at the end. This worked out. My idea somehow worked. Then I got another crit. We definitely go for another crit. Now I have 12 crits in a row. We got two vampirism that need to level up, guaranteed. Let's hope to find somehow room. Ooh, 20% lifesteal. And lifesteal. <laughs> uh, okay, so 20% lifesteal is obviously better than these. So let's sell one, two, three, and throw this in the build. Here you go. And this is gonna somehow stay somewhere. I don't know what's gonna go. I guess one flame is gonna go. Here you. And this is now, after five seconds, deal 10 life. Is it better than... I think the piercing of shielding is extremely important, and I don't even want to even remotely risk losing that. I'm super happy that we got 12 crits in a row now. Also, when I get empowered, we start smacking them like crazy. Oh, this is even more crazy than us. Uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Oh, we died. It's over. We just lost. It's over already. <laughs> That's the video, boys. We lost at the end. It's okay. Do I get at least ranking or does it count as an almost lost? Does It does count as an almost lost. So this is a Mimi Greatsword build. And uh, I think this was the last fight, right? 360 is the last fight. So I lost at this last round. I'm not really sure if I lost at the last round or I actually lost the game. Doesn't matter though. We still got the plus one there. I hope you guys enjoyed. This build I wouldn't suggest it to anybody, by the way. I don't think this is a good build. Uh, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to do the idea of Draconic Orb in practically large grade so you crit them to death right away. But I don't think this is really possible in Diamond as the opponents have consistent builds that do a lot of damage very fast. And this guy had almost the same thing as the thing I wanted to be, by the way, but with Fencing Fencing Rapier, which might be better. Uh, they had uh, 16 crits, to be honest, which most likely is better. How much damage did I take? Within 6 seconds, I took 300 damage from the Fencing Fencing Rapier. And I only did one hit. Literally once Mark and died. So yeah, I wouldn't really suggest this. Mediocre build, in my opinion. But still, it was fun. The idea of Greatsword with Flame was fun, in my opinion. Maybe I should have gone with the Revive. The Revive would have guaranteed we would not have died. The idea of why I wanted to go with Heat, by the way, was because I wanted this thing to attack fast and smack them three to four times back to back. You see right now, without even the activation of the, the Empower thing, it has 2.67 cooldown. So that was my idea there. Maybe should have gone with Regen to survive more. Maybe should have gone with the Revive thing. Doesn't know. Don't know. Doesn't matter. That's the run. Hope you guys enjoyed. And tomorrow I'm going to actually do something more viable because today I was going for the funsies. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed as always. Thanks for watching and see you guys around. Oh, very small video today. 23 minutes. I almost rushed through this. Didn't really want to rush through this, but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the smaller video. It still was a full run. I think I had one or two lives at the end left. One or two fights left? No, I think the final fight is 360 life always. So I... Yeah, but we were both pyros and we had more max life, so we definitely were not on the last fight. Yep, we lost. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.